Have you ever wondered how the calculator you use today came to be? It's a fascinating journey that dates back centuries from the earliest counting devices to the advanced electronic calculators we have now. Picture this, the year is 2000 BCE, and the abacus is the height of mathematical technology. An ingenious device, the abacus consists of beads or pebbles arranged in columns on a wooden frame, allowing users to perform addition and subtraction with ease. Fast forward to 1617, and we find the Scottish mathematician John Napier contributing to the evolution of calculators with Napier's bones. These numbered rods could be arranged to perform multiplication and division, a significant advancement for its time. Next, the 17th century brought us the slide rule, a mechanical device capable of various mathematical calculations, including multiplication, division, and even logarithms. This handy tool was the go-to for calculations until the rise of electronic calculators. In 1642, a French mathematician and philosopher named Blaise Pascal introduced the Pascaline, a mechanical calculator that used a system of gears and wheels to perform addition and subtraction. Jumping to 1673, Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, another mathematician and philosopher this time from Germany, improved upon the mechanical calculator with his invention, the Step Reckoner. This device could perform all four arithmetic operations and introduce the concept of multiplication and division through repeated addition and subtraction. The arithmometer, introduced by French inventor Charles Xavier Thomas de Colmar in 1820, became the first commercially successful calculator. Using a series of dials and gears, the arithmometer could perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Fast forward to 1948, and we have the Curta calculator, a handheld mechanical calculator invented by Kurt Hertzstark. Popular in fields like surveying and engineering, the Curta could perform various calculations. The 1960s marked the dawn of the electronic era, with the development of electronic calculators using transistors and later integrated circuits. Texas Instruments introduced the first handheld electronic calculator, the Caltech, in 1967. From the 1970s to the 1980s, calculators became more powerful and specialized. We saw the introduction of scientific calculators capable of performing complex scientific and mathematical functions, and graphing calculators with graphical displays. The widespread adoption of personal computers in the 1980s and 1990s led to the development of software calculators, making complex calculations more accessible to a broader audience. Today, calculators come in various forms, including handheld devices, software applications, and online tools. They continue to play a crucial role, from education to professional settings, demonstrating the remarkable evolution of these devices. Truly, the journey of calculators is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge and efficiency.